Welcome to another Treehouse tutorial and this one is from the Year 3-4 English curriculum and it's all about pronouns and nouns. So we're going to get stuck straight into it. We've got here, not a great sentence, um, which is Sarah leapt up because Sarah wanted the kite back. First thing I want us to identify straight away um, is the actual noun in the sentence. Um, there are a couple knocking about here. Sarah, for instance, is a noun. Um, this specifically is a proper noun, okay, because that's the name of a person or a place. Um, so we've got Sarah leapt up because Sarah, got the noun again there, um, wanted the kite back. Now, we can also obviously say, well, kite is a noun, and we might do something with that later as well. But we're going to focus mainly on the noun Sarah here, the proper noun. Sarah leapt up because Sarah wanted the kite back. It's very repetitive, this sentence, and that's one use for pronouns, which is the main thing we're focusing on today, um, because they avoid repetition. So I want to give you just, um, just a moment now to consider what pronoun you could use um, to replace the word Sarah. Have a little think about that. Off you go. Okay, so um, here's the one that I went for, the pronoun she. Sarah leapt up because she wanted the kite back. Okay, so we're not quite as repetitive now. We know that the she, we're being nice and clear, we know that the she does refer to the noun Sarah. Okay, because that's another important thing when you are using pronouns in your writing. Be make sure that you're using them in clear reference to a noun so that the reader's not confused. Um, but we've got here the pronoun she. Now I've got a little bit of a list here. And these lists, uh, this list, sorry, is a list of what we call personal pronouns. Okay, so these are the personal pronouns. I want you now to have a little think, just as you're looking through this, why you think that I've separated, for example, if I sort of bullet pointed these, why you think I've separated them into this kind of group, this one here, this group here. What do you think's going on there? And what we should be starting to see here is that this is about the person. So for example here, this is the first person, okay? So these are just a couple of first person personal pronouns, okay? I or we. Um, in this case, the sentence here is actually written in the third person, okay? So you've got some of these examples. You've got he, you've got she, you've got they. Now notice here with, with we and with they, even though they're in different persons, that's a case of plural, okay? So we've got singular versus plural here and again we've got singular versus plural lots of things going on here lots of words being thrown at you i'm aware of that but these are really important as we build up towards other skills as well and develop from there this one is the lesser used second person okay and there's a personal pronoun there of you okay so that's just a little bit on there now we're going to have a little look further ahead on Sarah leapt up because she wanted the kite back. I want us to have a little consideration here of, of the, okay? Now, in most cases, a pronoun will replace a noun, as we saw here, okay? But actually here, I'm going to be asking you to identify a possessive pronoun that could actually replace this determiner here, the. Okay, I'm going to give you an opportunity to think about that there. What kind of possessive pronoun could replace this word here before Kate? Off you go. Okay, so I left you with the challenge of finding a possessive pronoun that could go in place here of the kite. And in this case, I've gone for her kite. This is one example of a type of possessive pronoun. You can see some others here, okay? So again, I'm showing you just like the one before in terms of the person side of things. We've got some first person possessive pronouns here. We've got second person possessive pronouns. We've got third person possessive pronouns here. Um, so we've got a list there that we can be using. Some of them, notice, sit before a noun within a noun phrase. Some of them would replace a noun entirely. Okay. Um, so there's lots for you to be looking at and delving into as you go further. This one here, it's really important that we understand this idea of possession because you're going to be doing lessons as well on um, apostrophes and understanding here, for instance, that this is 
Sarah's. It's Sarah's kite. And that in Sarah's kite, because the kite belongs to Sarah, we need an apostrophe here. Now, I know I'm delving into a different objective there, but if you're not quite understanding the word possessive, as in from possessive pronouns, you're going to struggle to understand possessive apostrophes that come in to the, to the year three, four curriculum as well. OK, so this is just one sentence just to show you would delve a little bit into pronouns. But it's a case now of going off and having a look at some nouns and pronouns activities that can develop your understanding further. I hope that's been useful. Have a good go.